Hello friends, welcome to Madvent Day 3. As you can see, here at Cosity Fatty, we are very much in the Christmas spirit. But I know that not everybody is, so I thought that today I would lend you a helping hand and give you some little tips on how to get into the Christmas spirit. First of all, examine your life and choices. Is there some kind of deep-rooted emotional issue preventing you from feeling festive joy? A yuletide trauma in years gone by? Explore the possibilities. You may force yourself into some kind of mental breakdown by dredging up repressed memories, but you might also feel better. Tip number two, make it unavoidable. Delete all non-Christmas music from your iTunes and watch only festive themed movies and YouTube videos. Set up camp as close as possible to a fake Santa and stay there all day. Additional days can be added on if necessary. Wear only red, green, silver, and gold. White is permissible if absolutely necessary, but frowned upon because it doesn't really have that razzle-dazzle. Cover everything you own in fairy lights, laundry racks, bookshelves, bed, pets, family members. Concoct a festive greeting and use it exclusively. I would suggest ho ho hello, deck the holla at your girl, or Santa Claus it going. Similarly, start letters, emails, and texts with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer recipient. Make tiny Santa hats out of construction paper and cotton balls and place them on every person that appears in a picture displayed in your house. Posters and drawings included. Teach yourself the descant to every possible Christmas carol and hymn so you can really stand out at church. Two words, Josh Groban. Listen to his CDs, watch his interviews, sing along to his classic hit Believe from the Polar Express soundtrack, watch the video of me lip syncing along to his classic hit Believe from the Polar Express soundtrack, print out pictures of his face and hide them around your house for yourself and any lucky guests to stumble upon unexpectedly. Be jolly, laugh at everything, people may act offended, but really they're just taken aback by your radiating Christmas spirit. Recreate the nativity. Play whichever part calls to you the most and fill in the rest with friends, family members, stuffed animals, or anything you can find in your kitchen. Become Santa Claus, gorge yourself on extremely calorie heavy foods, grow a beard, and peroxide the ho-ho hell out of it. Alternatively, if you can't grow a beard, just sit in a bubble bath till it works. Look into regression therapy to revisit that state of childlike wonder. Reassemble the original Wiggles and cry until they perform the entirety of Wiggly Wiggly Christmas as many times as you need. More Josh Groban. Light a fire. If you have a fireplace, probably use that, but if not, a bin in your kitchen or an open burn in a vacant lot should work fine. Make a list of all the people you feel like you should make amends with, and then throw it in the fire. Don't be weak. Christmas is for winners. Recreate classic Christmas movies. If you have children, try leaving them alone in your house while you go on vacation for a week or two. Make personalized Christmas cards for those you hold dear. Here's one I prepared earlier. Roses are red, violets are blue, it's Christmas time. And finally, if it doesn't work in time, just keep going till next year. It's never too early to start fostering that Christmas spirit. So on that note, the movie that we're all going to be watching between this video and the next one is Arthur Christmas. Now, Arthur Christmas is a relatively new Christmas movie, but I watched it last year with Patrick. I think he fell asleep, but I really liked it. So we're going to watch Arthur Christmas. It's going to be a great time. When you watch it, tweet me, use the hashtag Madvent. I stalk that hashtag so frequently, so if you want me to see something, tag it freaking Madvent, because I have been on that like three times already today, and it's like 3 p.m. So, that is it for Madvent Day 3. I will see you tomorrow on my blog and in a video in two days. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm wearing my Rudolph jumper. I got my Christmas tree set up. I've got a mug of tea the size of my head. I'm so freaking amped right now. Oh my god, I counted normally. I can never do that. I counted like a real person. Normally I have to count like this. Because this finger doesn't like going up without that one. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs>